take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Of the people of Amalas, the narrator states, yet it is their tears and anger, the trying of their generosity and the acceptance of their helplessness, which are perhaps the true source of the splendor of their lives. Theirs is no vapid, irresponsible happiness. They know that they, like the child, are not free. Let's help you make your mark. But they seem to know where they are going, the ones who walk away from Amala's, Le Guin. This is a quote that relates to contemporary American culture just as it relates to Amala's, many people just walk away, and many people just kill themselves due to the burden that society puts on each individual. Take our lead. What terrible paradox must those who observe the suffering child face? In the ones who walk away from Amala's, the terrible paradox that the people who observe the suffering child must face is that they are willing to exchange the suffering of one child for the happiness of the rest of the town. Let's help you make your mark. In the case of Amala's, the citizens have chosen to ignore the horrifying reality for the sake of maintaining a seemingly flawless community, but ironically, their heartlessness is the single reason why the readers see Amala's as a dystopian society rather than a utopian one. Take our lead. The main themes in The Ones Who Walk Away From Amala's are morality, happiness, and individuals versus society. Morality, most citizens of Amala's decide that their happiness is more important than the child's suffering. Make your mark, take our lead. In Ursula K. Le Guin's short story, The Ones Who Walk Away From Amala's, the town of Amala's is depicted as a thriving, successful, utopia with the exception of one thing. The dark secret of the city is that a child is locked below the grounds, sitting in misery, alone, abandoned, and abused. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.